Hello guys, my name is uh, Marius and today um, I am playing in an IS3 on Himmelsdorf and I am, uh, I think, yeah, I think I am again top tier. I mean, the, the previous two games were, um, I was in an uh, FCM and I was top tier and in a FV4005, but that is a... Uh, Top tire by default. Um, anyway, I am again top tire in an IS3 on Himmelsdorf, so it's a great, great matchup. Why? <clears throat> because uh, the IS3 has great mobility, great gun, and uh, great armor. So um, overall, it's a great tank. It's a great tire eight uh, tank. Um, by default, you need to um, to play it well for uh, for your team. Why? Because uh, in this tank you can win, you can carry teams, um, and I said it. It has great all round stats. Um, okay, let's let's uh, remind. Let's say something about the stats. Uh, you all. You all know, I think, the IS-3, the infamous IS-3. Uh, it used to be well, amazing. Now, uh, it's still amazing, but it's not, it's not that OP, uh, overpowered how it was back then. Um, so, the IS-3 has uh, like uh, 110 uh, millimeters of armor uh, on the upper glaciers. Uh, here it has like um, two tracklings, two two parts of tracks, and um, they are actually rendered as um, additional armor, like ten or fifteen millimeters of additional armor. So try not to shoot it here. If you are angling, wait a second. Yeah, if you are angling the tank like this, try not to shoot it here. Try to shoot it uh, alongside here or here. Do not shoot it here because it is spaced armor and you will not pen. I mean, you will <laughs> pen if you can see that. The, if you, you will penetrate the armor, but you won't do damage. It's hollow in there. You have nothing there. Mm. And you can pen the, you can penetrate. I'm sorry, I will say a lot pen and not penetrate. You will penetrate the, uh, the um, belly here, if you can say that. The uh, lower plate, you will penetrate it. Uh, I mean, if I think it's like 210 millimeters, you will penetrate if you are in an IS3. Um, but if you are in an IS3, you will shoot on the front of the tank. Um, be aware, if you are using APCR, uh, because of the slowness of the, of the upper front of the, and even the lower uh, part of the, the glacis of the tank, um, you might bounce. I mean, it's a 50-50 that you will bounce. And really, I learned that in World of Tanks, it, uh, it's not uh, on the... The penetra on the, um, the capacity of the penetration or, uh, of the round, uh, but more of the the twenty five plus minus RNG, uh, if you know what I mean. You can bounce with a bad chat with a uh, leopard one, leopard one. You can bounce with uh, with tire ten mediums on the on the IS three because of the slopeness and because of the twenty plus twenty five plus and minus RNG. Um, yeah uh, the side I think it has ninety millimeters of armor but be aware uh, of the um, of the spaced armor here. Do not shoot it here because it has like three hundred millimeters of armor. So you won't penetrate uh, the tank even with a tire 10 TD. I think you will um, you will ban some some shots. Um, if an IS3 is skyscraping, um, 
he is doing it wrong. Do not sidescape with an IH3. Especially, I mean, you can sidescape with an IH3, but with the back of him. Uh, you can sidescape with the back of the IH3. Do not sidescape with the front of the IH3. Because you will get pen here. Here. And uh, on the side here. Always try to shoot the side of the IH3 in this zone here. To pen him. Here you will pen him like 80% uh, of the time. Even 90% of the time. Um, and here, of course. So, if you need to really sidescape, you need to put your back on uh, against the wall and go forward. And at this angle, the guy, uh, the guy shooting you will only see this zone, hopefully, and not this zone. So, try to, to adjust your angle. And uh, he will see this zone. The first thing he will do, and I've seen this at most of the guys, he will shoot this zone. And he won't penetrate you even with a, a Death Star. Um, even here, he cannot penetrate you, penetrate you because you are angling the tank. Uh, but be aware of the of the the depression of of your gun. It has like five degrees of gun depression on the front, uh, the IS3, and uh, one degree of gun depression on the back. On its back, so uh, be aware uh, at this ang at this uh, this angling at this zone, uh, you will have like four here, like three, two, and one on one gun depression. So be aware when you side scrape with your back. Um, if you uh, encounter an IHC using its turret. Um, you will pen. You will not pen the IH3 in this zone. So you 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 cannot pen, penetrate him here uh, because it has great uh, turret armor. You might get lucky, uh, like here or here, but that's uh, uh, that actually happens rarely. Um, you need to shoot him here in this uh, in this zone. It has. Um, uh, like 20 millimeters of armor. This plate is used for gun maintenance and it's really, really weak. You can uh, overmatch it uh, because of the three, um, three times rule or something like that. I don't know how they, they call it. Uh, it means that if you have 20 millimeters of armor um, uh, multiplied by three, it uh, reaches like 60 millimeters. So if you have a gun that has, uh, uh, I mean, uh, uh, six point, I don't know, six point something or seven point something uh, centimeter gun, you will overmatch the the turret here, this zone of the turret. So, so you can pen it here. Um, actually, uh, this. Uh, Capola is a weak spot too. It has like um, 80 millimeters of armor. So shoot it here and here and you will pen him. Even here. I know they are low profile, but uh, the, if RNG is with you, <laughs> you will hit the shots. Um, and I think that's all about it. The gun is great. I mean, uh, I know on paper... The gun is not that great. I mean, it's a heavy, but uh, when playing the tank, you will manage to get incredibly snapshots and uh, all of that because of the plus 25 uh, minus RNG. And I think that's a bad thing uh, in the game. I know, in my opinion, the plus 25 minus 25 RNG should be removed completely. Mm. To make the gun, uh, to make the game more competitive, you need to to get rid of that twenty five plus minus energy. Anyway, the the gun does on average uh, three hundred and ninety on uh, the penetrating rounds, and uh, five hundred and thirty on the high explosive rounds, which have like sixty eight penetra uh, average uh, pen penetration. Uh, this ones. This ones, I mean, on premium rounds, it has APCR, armor piercing composite rigid, composite rigid, sorry, and um, 
it has average uh, 265 uh, millimeters of uh, penetration uh, and on the standard on the standard rounds it has 20, uh, 225 uh, millimeters of penetration on average okay that's uh, that's enough let's get in the replay and let's see what happens so again i'm in a top sire and I'm looking at my uh, my guys. I s I'm looking at what tanks they have, and um, I immediately think that the KV-5 will be pushing with me on the seventh line. On the seventh line, uh, the seventh line is great for pushing. Sorry, the seventh line is great for pushing with an IS-3 or a tank that has a great uh, turret armor like T-29. But do not push alone on that side. Because you will, 90% uh, of the time, encounter enemy tanks in there, which also have armor on the turrets. Okay, so the battle starts and uh, we immediately go to that zone. Um, I see that the TV5 is coming with me, the T29 is going that way and the Egg Panther, we will see more of him. Uh, later on. Okay. At uh, uh, at this point, I'm not wasting time uh, staying here. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna push because immediately the KV-5 will be pushing with me, and I see the KV-3, which um, I can pen penetrate him easily. I bend him and uh, I get scared a bit about the ice, the wild ice, uh, the wild 110. It's like the ice 3 version of the Chinese tank, of the Chinese uh, nation. Um, the T29, I don't know what he's trying to do. He's trying to flank, but that's not a, a, a great, uh, a great uh, way to do it. And you see me uh, bouncing on the KV-3. I bounced because it w went on the really angled plate, on the upper plate of the KV-3. Uh, but you saw me uh, going for the, the uh, lower plate. That's when the plus minus 25 RNG comes into place. Um, I'm, I see the T-29, which... Um, uh, went to flank but I can't really do anything to save him I shoot the 110 uh, again but I do not manage to get him in time and I'm uh, getting the KP3 he needs to die to get rid of one tank the Egg Panther yeah I don't know what he's doing sorry buddy um, I thought uh, the follow of the 110 but I I cannot bother to aim for that, so I go instead for uh, his upper plate and now I'm pushing the T29 because I can see that he is using his turret. He is actually tracked here and uh, he cannot do anything. I'm shooting on his, uh, on his upper uh, plate, his hull. That's a, I mean, a weak spot of T29. I get him again here. And we need to get rid of the T29. Now the KV-5, my buddy here in KV-5 pushes. Um, I mean, bold move, but the, K, the KV-5 uh, has like 100 and, uh, 150 armor on its side. So when you do not angle it, the IS-3 will ban you. And he managed to do that. Now I need to get rid of the IS-3, but he is face hugging me, which I need to counter that. So I immediately go back and try to shoot his upper plate and I manage to do that and the wild IQV shoots, uh, comes uh, to shoot me um, I bounce his shot because of my angling and he again shoots me and that's um, when the angling with the back comes in, uh, in motion um, he shot me I think in the part which I ha have like 300, 300 millimeters, I think I cannot see the shot, but um, do not shoot there. So, um, yeah, 
I think the IQV has a, a decent gun, a decent penetration, so he could pen him. He could pen me if uh, I did not uh, angle my uh, armor. Again, um, I'm dealing with the IQV. Um, I'm trying to, to not let him uh, shoot me. Now I know I'm reloading, so I'm going back to shoot him. I remember uh, you have like one degree of gun depression on the back, so be careful. Uh, I'm looking uh, on the hill to see if my uh, guys manage to, to kill them. So they do that, they kill uh, them. And I'm going to shoot uh, the T-34, I mean, it's free damage. And I managed to do that. Now I'm going back because I do not want to to take damage in return. And I'm pushing him again. I'm shooting him. Yeah. And this is what uh, I want to, to highlight. The IS-3 has uh, really mm, not good stats for the gun. But he does really well on, sh on snapshots. I mean, <laughs> this is all the things, guys. Do not get me wrong. The, the game is okay, but has some serious flaws. Uh, and uh, I think Wargaming need, need to address this. And I think they will do on the, the sandbox, I think. Uh, I got an invite to the sandbox, but I did not manage to, to play it. To play in the sand, sandbox. And that's uh, about it. Um, okay, let's go into the post stats. So, this is um, the end plate, the personal the personal score. Uh, I got an ace anchor, a mastery badge, uh, a bunch of uh, medals here, and a high caliber. Uh, I got uh, 67,000 uh, credits and uh, 6,535 uh, experience. Uh, I think it was the with the triple. Yeah, with the triple. This is the team score. Uh, I did uh, 4,617 uh, damage. Uh, Five kills. I'm sorry about the. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry about it. I'm uh, getting used with speaking in public. I mean, sh I'm a shy guy, and sorry about that. Um, <laughs> again, <laughs> uh, a thousand and four, a thousand four hundred and five um, base experience, which is decent with the IS three. Yeah. My team did well. I mean, th they won the hill. I uh, actually uh, had help from the KV-5 and a shout out to you, buddy. Um, the Black Panther, I mean, he did okay. <laughs> he was there to support us. <laughs> and the T-29, he wanted to do something. He wanted to flank, but mm, he didn't uh, quite uh, uh, went well uh, for him okay and these are the uh, battle results the detailed report tab i shot 15 rounds 14 hit and uh, 13 penetrated which is okay i mean it's not great it's not it's not 15 uh 15 15 but I managed to do okay. Um, I did not take damage, so I have like uh, 275, I think, for my uh, track. And uh, my ammunition, which was uh, 15,375. And I got a total on plus of uh, 51,757. 51, uh, income so it's great it's great i think uh, i think the ice streets uh, is a great thing still and um, for the newcomers it's a must have so if you are new to this game go on the is3 on the is3 line on the is7 it's it's a really uh, great uh, round uh, tank with great stats overall um that's all for today. 
thank you again for watching and i will be uploading other games i think tomorrow uh i will still uh, upload the world of tanks but um i'll try to upload uh, other games too um this time because um my previous uh, previous uh, videos were in full hd um i actually play on 4k uh if you guys really want to see my uh my PC specs, I will post them, even maybe make a video on it. Uh, it actually looks pretty well, I think. It's uh, it's made by myself and my th father. We are uh, uh, geeks on uh, on uh, computer hardware, <laughs> so uh, I actually like it. And uh, gaming uh, on, uh, in general. Um, actually, do not uh, did not say it. Uh, I'm uh, 23 years old, and my father uh, plays uh, on this account, so on the World of Tanks account. So do not look at my stats; they are not great, and I'm not by any by any means a great player. But bear in mind that my dad, uh, my dad also plays on this account, so they won't be great stats on it. Um, and I think that's all about it. Ah, oh uh, yeah, I wanted to say that um, this um, this video from now on I will try to to publish them in uh, 4K because I do play on uh, on this resolution and maybe uh, you guys want to see it in 4K. I don't know. Um, that's about it. Okay, thank you guys. Have a nice uh, day and or evening, and uh, thank you again for watching. Bye bye.